am in the town of Lockheck in the Czech Republic. I've come to visit a medieval torture chamber in this 12th century Gothic style castle. As you can see, the castle was built on one gigantic rock. We'll see more of that in a minute. So I've decided to start at the top, way up in the lookout tower, and then work my way down through the castle until I get to the dungeon, the torture chamber, where we can view all sorts of different medieval torture devices. The foundation of this stone castle dates back to the year 1230, though in the year 1725 the castle burned down, leaving only the first floor and underground as it was originally built. So I've made it up to the top of the lookout tower. This place is just amazing. The air is dry and smells of wood and stone. You can just really feel the history all around you. You feel like you've gone back in time. As I make my way down these stairs, I come to an old toilet with just one slot window above for light and ventilation. Can you imagine how cold that must have been in the winter time? down on the first floor. Each room has a different display. Unfortunately we got here about 45 minutes before their closing, so we only have a few minutes in each room. Here you see some 16th century wall paintings. Wow, these are beautiful. Here we have a display of some helmets from the different time periods this castle was in use. some swords, and some more modern weapons. I'm looking for more of the medieval stuff. Here we have a replica cannon. And up ahead, a full suit of armor. This is what I'm looking for. I think we're on the right track. I'm going to head outside and see if I can't find the entrance to the dungeon. So as we come back outside here, you can see what I was talking about earlier. This castle was built atop one gigantic rock. Here you can see the top of that rock poking through the center of the castle. How cool is that? Let's head in here. All right, found it, the torture chamber. Let's head on down. Up first, the rack, a human stretching device. You can almost hear the joints popping out of their sockets. The interrogation seat. Notice the spiked seat and the head restraint. The Iron Maiden. A coffin-like device. The inside lined with spikes. Just long enough to pierce the skin, not long enough to damage vital organs.
torture cages were either paraded through the town square or hung from the ceiling. The victim would be poked or prodded with different instruments and weapons. And lastly, the worst of them all, the breaking wheel. The victim would be hammered into a wagon wheel-like device until their limbs were woven into the wheel's spokes and then displayed for all to see. Here we have some tools of this gruesome trade. Tear off and cutting nippers for skin and fingers. Knife for tongue excision. A mask to be worn by the victim. Torture by humiliation. This one is for women who gossip too much. Funnel for water torture. And last, knife for skin straps. Well, that looks like it for the torture chamber. I'm going to make my way down these stairs into the prison. This place is like a maze. There's so many stairways, paths, and corridors, it's easy to get lost. In here, we find some old prison cell doors. And what looks like another restraining device. I think they're about to close. I gotta start making my way out of here. This looks like a way out. What a fantastic trip this has been. That was just so awesome. Unfortunately, they're closing soon, so I gotta head out. There's just one last thing I wanna show you before I go. This is found at the entrance to the castle. It's a single bar cross built in 1639 to commemorate the murdered mayor of Karlovari. And that's it for this trip, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my website, dirtfishing.com. Thanks for watching.